Hey Rams Nation, it's time to get ready for some news that promises to shake things up and raise our enthusiasm for our beloved team even higher. Have you ever stopped to think about what goes on behind the scenes of NFL draft decisions? How our astute managers choose the players who will shape the Rams' future? Well, get ready, because we're about to dive deep into this universe of strategic picks and emerging talent. What are the expectations for this new addition to our squad? How will these new talents impact next season? Don't waste any time and stay tuned, because the answers are about to be revealed. Share your theories in the comments. And don't forget to show your support by leaving a like and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any details about the Rams. The Los Angeles Rams strengthened their ground game with the addition of Blake Corum last week. Some people may be wondering if it was the right decision. He was picked in the top 100 players, so there was some debate as to whether that pick could have been used in another way. However, now that he's in Los Angeles, I'm looking forward to seeing how he can contribute. I'm curious to know if Kyron Williams will still be responsible for kick returns. Regardless of opinions, it seems that Rich Eisen was very happy with the choice, and I hope he's right. Do you have any thoughts on the selection? You can check out the moment Corum was drafted and Eisen's reaction below. I believe the Rams' Twitter account can it be at Rams NFL may have tweeted about it at the time. Michigan running back Blake Corum was selected by the Rams in the third round of the 2024 NFL Draft with the No. 83 overall pick, announced by Pro Football Hall of Fame wide receiver Isaac Bruce. Rams coach Sean McVay and general manager Les Snead were asked about the situation Friday after the third round of the NFL Draft, and they mostly skirted the issue. When asked if the report about Stafford not being happy with his contract was accurate, McVay replied, I've had a good dialogue with Matthew. We'll keep those things in-house, but he's working with our guys and we'll keep those things in-house. McVay and Snead were also asked if they thought the team would be able to find a solution to the contract issue, and they basically avoided the question. Snead stated, we're definitely excited to have Matthew as our QB. Quarterback Matthew Stafford, Jimmy Garoppolo, Stetson Bennett, others dresser win with Jimmy Garoppolo suspended for weeks one and two. There's no other way to organize the QB room. Running backs Kyron Williams, Blake Corum, Zach Evans, others Ronnie Rivers, Blake Corum was chosen very early to sit on the bench. He'll share the load with Kyron Williams, and that could go a long way toward keeping Williams healthy in 2024. As a passionate Rams fan, I can hardly contain my excitement at the twists and turns of the NFL Draft. Each pick brings with it a promise of new talent and a chance to strengthen our team for the challenges ahead. The arrival of Blake Corum is further proof of the Rams' relentless commitment to building a winning team, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he integrates into our squad. Will he exceed expectations? How will he contribute to the Rams this season? Share your opinions in the comments and let's all cheer on another winning season for our beloved team. Be sure to follow every exciting move the Rams make this season. And to make sure you don't miss a single detail and stay on top of all the news, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to receive the next videos firsthand. Together, let's cheer every play and celebrate our team's victories. Until the next video, Rams Nation.